am going to talk about writing. It may not be apparent at the beginning because I'm going to talk about football. And I'm going to talk about um, industrial engineering and my degree, Bachelor of Science, Human Resources Management, back in the 1980s. Now, some people think of HR as paper shuffling and getting your employee uh, orientation. Um, the guy who sat next to me in most, most of my HR courses uh, immediately went to graduate school in industrial engineering, which is largely putting numbers and sequences into accomplishing work, uh, which means evaluating how well people do their work. That is also what I learned, even though my uh, degree was not uh, IE, industrial engineering. All right, now I could talk about, actually I'll talk a little bit about the author of this book, David Harris, who wrote The Genius, How Bill Walsh Reinvented Football and Created an NFL Dynasty. For Bill Walsh, playing the quarterback position right, correctly, began with footwork. The way a quarterback retreated from the line of scrimmage, set himself, and stepped to throw, determined what then followed. Sometimes he, Bill Walsh, coach of the various teams, best known for 49ers, sometimes Walsh would even have quarterbacks filmed from the waist down. from the waist down to better teach them the correct form. Walsh insisted he could always tell the outcome of the play just by watching the quarterback's feet. In the Niners system, and in most systems today, <coughs> at an advanced level, there were three different drops the quarterback made, each one setting the timing for the action of the receivers and the ensuing play. The three-step drop was the quickest. <coughs> Designed to get the ball out almost immediately, after pivoting from center, protecting the ball as he did so, the quarterback took three large steps, or shorter ones depending on the play, planted his back foot, stepped going forward and through. The five-step drop featured three large steps and two smaller steps <coughs> and, and uh, the seven-step drop, three large steps followed by four shorter steps. At the back of the drop, the quarterback had to reverse his momentum and turn it towards the line of scrimmage using a short hitch step to do so, adjusting his position for the throw or buying time if he needed it. The proper throwing position was with knees bent. If the quarterback threw off stiff legs, inevitably the ball ended up flying into the ground. Montana, Joe Montana, and the other Niners quarterbacks practiced these drops endlessly repeatedly and often, sometimes under Walsh's gaze or more often with quarterback's coach Sam Weiss. Even then, Walsh was tuned in. The shout, keep your knees bent, Joe, was often heard from a distant part of the field <clears throat> where the head coach was seemingly occupied with something else. Now, that's IR, footwork, three-step drop, five-step drop, seven-step drop, set, 
it's step through home. So um, that's what you learn to do at the highest level playing quarterback. Get your footwork right. In the same way, depending on whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction, you have things to do. Now, these vary depending upon your circumstances and your aims. Um, but you, I recommend that you find out what it is that you need to do. Do you need to write in the morning, evening, weekends? Uh, there's something roughly the equivalent to three-step, five-step, seven-step drops that you do, you may not recognize it. I'm asking you to look at your own writing patterns, your own writing systems, and find out what works best for you and do those things. Do them intentionally. Your preparation. It's okay to have, uh, you know, ha not only habits, but superstitions. Um, I know writers that check their horoscopes before they write. That's fine if that's what works for you. I don't know um, any writers who want me to say that, who they are, but I know that happens. 